So after getting a gist of what the poem was about, now we're going to be taking some time and we're going to be making inferences because when we make inferences, we can get a better understanding of the story by understanding relationships um, and our characters because we know that good readers can think about what a character is like based on what they say, do, act, what they look like, and also the way that other people respond to them. The authors never or in this case, doesn't come out and say explicitly how people feel about Casey at the bat, because as you know, he didn't, he wasn't the hero they thought he was uh, going to be. He struck out, uh, but we can still ex understand or get a better understanding about the crowd's expectation and who they think of him as a, as a player. So when we make inferences, we use our background knowledge plus what the text says in order to determine how someone feels or responds to a certain character and what we, the reader, should also be feeling toward that character. Now, we make inferences all the time, and we've talked about this all year. Uh, when we make inferences, we oftentimes uh, do that by looking at people's response or reactions. So if I'm looking at this human, um, I can tell he is super... Oh, pause. What happened? I can tell that he is super angry. Um, he got super mad. Uh, I see that he's, sorry, having technical difficulties, which is, again, no surprise, like real life. He's pointing fingers. And I know that people, when they uh, are angry, I can see it in his face. The pointing is a really big sign for me. And so even though I can't hear, I'm going to also infer that he's yelling. Um, but I can determine a lot, even though nothing is being said. And then I could also, if I were looking at the person who's receiving this, it would also tell me about how serious this, uh, this conversation is also because I could see. Now, so again, I took what I saw, I take it from my background knowledge of what I know about people who've been angry at me and when they shout and point, and then I'm able to make that inference that he is uh, angry. This person, on the other hand, let's look for just a second to figure out what he's feeling. Now, oops, again, whoa, freeze. So once again, I can see this person going back a little bit, maybe if I can do that here. Again, shocker, Miss Novotny is, I'm sure first hour Dustin is probably saying, Miss Novotny, the old lady can't figure out how to work our technology. Thanks, Dustin, but facts, I suppose. So when I look at this guy's face, I can go ahead and assume he's either annoyed and late and looking for a cab because I know typically when people look back up and down the street, it appears to be a big city. He's either looking for a cab or I could also say that he's kind of, he almost seems like worried. Um, like he's looking for someone in general or someone's supposed to pick him up and maybe they're late. So sometimes we have to get more information and change our inferences over the course of time, right? Our last one is this birthday party. As I'm sitting here watching this, I can see that lots of these kids, it's obviously it's a birthday party. We have the hats. These two kids don't look, look as excited as some of the other ones. Maybe they, their mom may have forced them to come or uh, maybe it's somebody that they uh, maybe they just wish it was their birthday but again by looking at faces or by in this case we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna read the text and we're gonna determine uh, what a character is like and how people feel about him based on the text that's left so going back to the Google form you're gonna be reading some quotes from the text and then you're gonna be deciding based on Casey's response how do they feel about him so looking at this first one kill him kill the Empire shouted someone from on the stand and it's likely they'd have killed him had not Casey raised his hand so how do they feel about Casey because they were willing to stop based on the fact that he raised his hand again the author doesn't tell you how they feel about Casey but they've given you a lot of under a lot of quotes to help you understand that okay and this again will help me analyze the poem if I get a better understanding about what my characters like so take some time make some inferences about Casey because that's going to help us look at the poem better analyze the poem here momentarily you already know the gist that Casey uh they thought Casey was going to win the game for him, but he did not, which is disappointing. But now you're going to look at why exactly did they think that Casey or why did they have so much hope or faith in Casey? So complete this form 
If the sub says it's fine, if you'd like, you can kind of go ahead. I'd like you to try to answer on your own. Um, and then after about a minute and a half or two minutes, you can go ahead, turn and talk, share and compare, and then we'll move on to the next section, which is a Disney video. And all you're going to be doing is watching it uh, with maybe as a whole class, maybe independently, and then writing uh, what vid details did the video add or eliminate that helped you better understand? Or how did it change the story? So you have the next two sections to do, and then I will be back uh, for another batter up. Golly, the funny never stops. Anyway, see you in a minute. <laughs>